Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Kat Von D Mini Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. Kat Von D did release two mini liquid lipsticks. I purchased the shade in Ruthless and I also purchased the shade in Milagro. The first shade we are going to be swatching is the shade in Milagro. I love Kat Von D's packaging. Super simple, super cute. And then of course you do have the shade name here at the top. When you open up the packaging, here's what the mini Everlasting Liquid Lipstick looks like. So let's open her up. Let's see what she swatches like. It also comes with a mini doe foot applicator. Let's swatch her. Ooh, very rich in pigment. And I love this shade. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. I love this muted pumpkin shade. It complements my skin complexion. It's not too corally. It's not too orange. It's the perfect pumpkin shade. I feel like I can go through this matte little lipstick shade without it expiring on me. I have a huge lipstick collection and I feel like this is the perfect amount that I can go through. I do want to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison from the mini to the bigger version. I do have my favorite Kat Von D shade right here in Lolita and I wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison to how miniature this is. And it is really, really small, but I feel like I can go through this matte liquid lipstick easily, whereas I can't really go through this too, but I really love her formula. And the amount of product that you do get in the Mini Everlasting Liquid Lipstick is 0 0.10 fluid ounces, or 3.0 milliliter, which isn't a lot in my opinion. I did purchase mine during the Sephora VIB sale, so I did get mine for $9.35. I love Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Formula. It stays forever on your lips. It doesn't dry my lips out, and the pigment is there. I also want to do a wet swatch and a dry swatch as well, just to show you guys the comparison to see what it looks like. I'm just going to kiss the back of my hand just to show you guys that this formula is amazing. Just kiss the back of my hand and I feel like the formula hasn't dried down completely but when it does dry down you guys it stays put. After I kiss the back of my hand a lot of the pigment is still applied on my lips. I'm just going to apply a fresh swatch of the shade in Milagro. That way we can see the difference. It looks spot on. It looks the exact same shade. I'm going to be removing the shade in Milagro and I'll be right back. The last shade that I did purchase is called Ruthless. Again, I do love the packaging. Let's open this up. I love this berry shade. It is so gorgeous. Let's see what it swatches like. Ooh, that is so rich in pigment. That is a beautiful shade. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. I love this berry shade in Ruthless. It does complement my skin complexion. It is the perfect berry shade for me. Again, I do love the packaging. It is super travel friendly. I am going to be applying a fresh swatch in the shade in Ruthless. This is a dried down version of what Ruthless does look like. And then here we have a freshly applied swatch. Again, it looks pretty much the same. I do already love her formula and I do love the two shades that she did come out with. These are limited editions, so if you are ever in Sephora, I highly recommend you guys swatching them, trying them on, and let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite. Did you guys like Rootless on me or the shade in Milagros? I would love to know that. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.